Hi, this is Kevin from Maths Heuristics. In this video, I will discuss how to find the sum of consecutive numbers starting from 1 all the way up to the last number even if it is 10,000 or even more. This video is designed for parents and students who want to get an idea of how to do problems like this and solve it within 5 minutes. Actually, I don't really need 5 minutes but I'll need 5 minutes to explain the idea so my time starts now. Alright, how do we visualize this pattern? Consider the following diagram. You have a 2 by 3 rectangle. And in the first row, you have one black box. Second row, you have two black boxes. So the total number of black boxes will be 1 plus 2. So how many black boxes are there all together? Noting that exactly half of this rectangle is shaded we can say that it will be half times 2 times 3. So in conclusion, 1 plus 2 is equal to half times 2 times 3. Then let me take it one step further. This is now a 3 by 4 rectangle. And let's count the number of black boxes. So in the first row, that's 1. Second row, that's 2. Third row, that's 3. Total number of black boxes will be 1 plus 2 plus 3. So how many black boxes are there all together? Again, half of the rectangle is shaded. So we can say that half times 3 times 4, that's the total number of black squares. So in conclusion, 1 plus 2 plus 3 is equal to half times 3 times 4. Then one step further again, now it becomes a 4 by 5 rectangle. In the first row, there's 1. In the second row, there's 2. In the third row, there's 3. In the fourth row, there's 4. So the total number of black boxes will be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. Now since half of this rectangle is shaded, the total number of black squares can be said to be half times 4 times 5. So we can conclude that 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 is equal to half times 4 times 5. So if we are to complete this table, 1 plus 2 will be equal to half times 2 times 3. 1 plus 2 plus 3, as we found earlier, is half times 3 times 4. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 will be equal to half times 4 times 5. So what about, what if I change this last number to 5? it's still going to be half times 5 times 6. So even if I blow this up all the way until 100, the pattern should be the last number comes here. So 100 will come here. This would be 1 more than that. So if I have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 all the way up to the last number, this will be half times the last number times that last number plus 1. Okay, so let's go back to that question that we had earlier. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 all the way up to 10,000. By direct application of that formula, that would just be half times 10,000 times 10,000 and 1. That will give me Fifty million and five thousand. So, how can we use this formula in some pattern problems? Here are some common applications. As we discussed earlier, when you have the sum of consecutive whole numbers starting from one, this would just be half times the last number times that last number plus one. So this would be 80,200. Then what about the sum of consecutive multiples starting from the first multiple? Now we see here that there's 3 plus 6 plus 9 plus dot dot all the way up to plus 147 and plus 150. All of them contain a multiple of 3, so I'll just divide this out by 3 first and everything becomes 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 
plus 147 divided by 3, 49 plus 50. So I'll find this out first. This is half times 50 times 51. So that will give you 1275. Now just now we divided this by 3. So we will have to multiply it back by 3 to get the full answer. So this will be 3 times 1275. And that will give you 38. Five. Then what about the sum of consecutive numbers starting, not starting from 1? So let me draw a part whole model to visualize this. Remember that formula can only be applied for consecutive numbers starting from 1. So how do we manipulate this? We will see that the total here is 1 plus 2 plus 3 all the way until 250. But the terms that I want is the sum of 80, 81, all the way up to 250. So I'll need to chop off this tail, which is 1 plus 2 plus 3 all the way up to 79. So I'll find out the total first. The total here is half times 250 times 251. That will give me 31375. Then this tail, 1 plus 2 plus 3 all the way up to 79, will be half times 79 times 80. So that will be 3160. So the objective that I'm required to find will be 31375 minus of 3160. And that will give me 28,215. Thank you for watching. I hope you've learned something today. Click here for more of such teaching videos and click here to subscribe.